today I'm taking you to a, a very special, a bit of a secret place, just uh, down the road from Chateau Margaux. I'm gonna catch the car, go down by the river and uh, give you a visit of uh, the island of Margaux. Let's go. Margot, and this is the village of Margot right behind me. If you turn right, just on the right, Chateau Margot, just right here. And once you are at Chateau Margot, of course, you can stop by absolutely gorgeous right here. So if you're coming over here, you should absolutely stop by at Chateau Margot uh, and have a little tour uh, if, if you book in advance and if you're lucky enough uh, to get inside. Uh, if you're not, I made a full video uh, of a tour of Chateau Margot, so you should check this out. Um, but today I'm taking you to a, a very special, a bit of a secret place, just uh, down the road from Chateau Margot. Uh, so we're talking right here uh, by we're gonna go right there uh, by the river over there and there's a little secret uh, it's called the island of Margot uh, very very few people uh, ever get there uh, very few people actually know about this place and know that there is a vineyard over there uh, so today I'm taking you just down there down the end of this road and you arrive to this river you can see the island of Margot you can also see that you can't actually get there uh, so you really have to uh, have an appointment uh, be a very special guest uh, to get there but uh, I've just called out uh, so they're gonna go come and pick me up uh, with a little boat uh, see how we go is literally an island on the Gironde estuary uh, there's a big uh, river um, that arrives here the Gironde river that uh, divides the border region into two parts and when this big river arrives uh, into the Atlantic Ocean it forms this uh, gigantic uh, estuary um, so the island of Margot is literally an, a little island on this estuary <laughs> about 14 hectares so that's about 25 acres uh, what's very special is that it still includes the five grape varieties that are classic 
in Bordeaux, so we're talking dominant of Merlot here, a uh, bit of Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, uh, some Malbec, uh, which has virtually disappeared from the Bordeaux uh, region, except in a few vineyards like this one, and obviously the Petit Verdot. Um, <clears throat> what's even more surprising here uh, is, despite the humidity that you can imagine from being in the middle of the water, uh, these vineyards are grown organically, which is actually uh, pretty rare in Bordeaux as well. So you can see how the vineyards are covered in uh, grass. Uh, so the grass, instead of spreading uh, pesticides and everything, um, here they keep the grass on the on the soil. Uh, that actually helps uh, sucking up some of the the, the surplus of water uh, that comes from the river and so that helps uh, stressing up uh, the vines a little bit and producing more concentrated uh, wines. <laughs> being grown organically on this relatively humid humid environment uh, you could you could think that there'd be a lot of water going in the vines and producing a lot of fruit uh, but just tasted the wines and the wines from here are actually very good like they, they they're Bordeaux superior wines so they're not the greatest they're not Margot appellation um, so they're not of the greatest appellation in the area uh, because this soil is not classified in any any village uh, around even though it does belong uh, to the commune uh, of Margot but it's not classified in the Appalachian. The wines here are actually very characterful. I don't know whether it's because they're organic um, or, or because of the, the very unique terroir but uh, these wines taste definitely like Bordeaux wines. They're concentrated, they're ripe, uh, they're deep. Uh, there's definitely something unique uh, about this place and these wines. into the Ile de Margot. Very few people come here so I'm lucky and you're lucky with me. Um, if you've enjoyed this uh, please subscribe to the channel uh, to support my work and uh, the, the, the job that I do uh, trying to deliver some interesting uh, stories to you. Um, I'll see you soon in the next story. Um, I'm hanging around Margot for a few days so check out my other videos. Uh, there should be some interesting stuff here. See you soon. <laughs>
toaster when you feed my lines and shit you better deal with it and i'll see you soon in the wine blog world cheers